Hey guys, welcome back. You know what I'm excited for today? I'm so excited to actually get to try out the new sword that we made at the end of last episode. That legendary attack damage modifier is hopefully going to be absolutely huge for us. I cannot wait. However, very quickly before we jump into the vaults today, I also mentioned last time that I really need to start actually using charms. I mean, just look how many we have stored in our chest. And the reason I've been holding off is because I don't really know which vault god I want to focus on, and I believe the charm will lose a charge no matter which god altar you do, but obviously only provide the benefit for the associated god, so you really do want to properly focus down if you can. So as I mentioned last time, I think I'm just going to focus on the god that we currently have the most favours for already, which in our case is... Good old Wendar. So I guess let's use this charm since we may as well take the maximum chance we can. And look at it. It's so cute how it just flies around my head. Oh, I love it. And now that's sorted, it's time we actually jump in and try all of this new stuff out. So let's get ourselves a crystal. And we still have our bounty for completing a scav vault. So Let's put a seal on the crystal. And we can also take one more bounty. So we have find four wooden chest scrolls and get a rare helmet and an ornate only catalyst. Okay. And find 41 vault essence for some rare boots and a bunch of other stuff. Let's take this one. No idea how long that's going to take. Ooh, it's a hoard bolt. So that's plus 50% item quantity. Okay, 11 purple mob essence, 3 green bangles, 3 skeleton wishbones, 3 spider soul charms, and 2 zombie brains. That's quite... That is quite the scav. Okay, well, this should certainly be interesting. Um, we're definitely going to have to get lucky on it, but I mean, there's a chance. We'll see how it goes. I'm honestly more interested by the fact that we have extra item quantity in this vault. So if this starts looking like it's not going to happen, I might just focus on looting to try and get the most out of this because I would love extra item quantity. But we will at least try. And let's hope that this goes well. Oh, hi. Huh. Now that's interesting. Well, let's try these top things first. Just in case we happen to get lucky just from these, but otherwise we might have to go down there and that is mildly terrifying to me, but we will see. I don't think I've actually ever completed a dragon room because they are absolutely terrifying to me oh this is our best chance of actually getting the green bangles but there are so many mobs in that place oh and it's given us no green bangles okay i think we're gonna have to try it there was already a champion spawn down there let alone anything else okay. oh but that sword is very good why are there so many champions? Okay, um, this is going to be a case of running and looting, I think. We've already got three green bangles, but I'm down here now. Oh, but that sword! We're doing so much damage to all these guys. What on earth? Okay, you know how I was like, I think this sword is going to be real good for us. I wasn't quite expecting this if I'm honest, because I'm pretty sure that is insanely good. Hi guys, don't mind me, just trying to steal some coins. Hope you don't mind. Oh, a leech creeper. That's exactly what I need in my life. Hi, guys. And so many, so many champion guys. Hi. Thanks for the vault axe and for the 
uh, chest plate. That's real nice of you. That sounded like... I don't know what that sounded like, but it didn't sound good. Let's... Oh, it's a Ravager. Okay. Um, yeah, when I said that didn't sound good, I was accurate in my assessment of that. Oh, God. Um, okay. Okay, well, it died on my thorns. That's good. But I definitely need to get out of here if there's Ravagers in here. That is terrifying. Um, okay. Let's see. If I was up here, can I dash out? I can. Okay, let's just go pick up our water and get out of here because we have 19 green bangles. I think we're good on that front. Oh boy, that was an interesting first room. Yep, gonna take me a while to come down from that one, I think. Oh, that's one zombie brain. Wonderful. Gilded. You know you want to give me spider soul charms, right? That's a goblet so close and yet so far oh geez okay that was a slightly bigger drop than i expected but we survived everything's fine um i should probably take a look at how we're doing considering we've got actually not that long left so we need four purple mob essence we obviously have the green bangles we haven't found any ores haven't found any spider soul charms and got one zombie brain 13 minutes left i think think we may be best off just looting whatever we come across at this point because that is uh well it's not going brilliantly which kind of to be expected i mean it's a very tricky scav that it gave us this time and oh this is an ore room let's loot this because we not only need the skeleton wishbone we also still need our tubium which would be Fantastic. Yes! Bounty complete. That is... Oh, that is so many episodes in the works, but we actually got that. That is so good. And considering that was our legendary bounty, and we've got multiple other lost bounties in our storage, we get to now see what the next one's going to be. And that's going to be so good. I am so happy right now. This vault is 100% worth it, even if we do not manage to complete. Hello, what are you? Difficulty normal and onyx. Sure, why not? And how did we end up? I know we ended up pretty much nowhere near but yeah we only ended up with one spider soul charm and one zombie brain oh okay 500 coin piles christ 33 ores including the tubium that we needed which is fantastic and 165 chests which isn't actually too bad and 639 mobs but yeah we just did not find enough living and gilded chests and then the ones we did did not quite get us where we needed to go but that was still so good well like i said we may not have completed the vault but it was definitely a worthwhile one i mean we got over 3000 bronze a wooden chest scroll towards our bounty the final tubium for our legendary bounty a charm 41 gear pieces and 10 jewels so let's claim our legendary bounty <coughs> open the crate and then we can take a look at our jewels, and we're actually going to be keeping quite a few of them. So we have this size 16, almost max roll on copiously, which is absolutely lovely. This size 12, copiously mining speed and shoveling, and it's not necessarily the best copiously roll, but I think for size 12, it's probably worth keeping hold of. Then we have this size 13, very nice copiously roll, which is wonderful. 
this size 12, which I think I'm going to be keeping for the trap disarm and reach rather than the copiously, but that is still very nice. This size 11 with a lovely copiously and durability, which is very nice. And finally, this size 16 almost max roll item rarity, which is absolutely brilliant. And as for this gear, I think we'll just be keeping hold of these three, but we did manage to get two legendaries this time round, so we got this legendary max roll on resistance, but unfortunately it's on a scrappy shield, so I'm just never gonna quite get the amount of thorns damage that I currently have, so not gonna keep hold of it, but still a very nice legendary. And then we have this common magnet, which has a very low, but still legendary durability roll. But considering it hasn't really got room for any other modifiers, I just don't think that is worth it. But what is worth it are these three. So we have this 25% 19 use Wendar affinity charm, which is very nice. Then we have this Omega magnet, which is definitely going straight into my backups because I currently have my one, which is absolutely brilliant, but I don't believe we have any Omegas in our backups, so definitely keeping hold of that. And then we also have this Epic magnet, which obviously, while not quite as good, is definitely going to be better than some of our backups, so going to keep hold of that as well. And since we finally completed our legendary bounty, we can use one of our three, apparently, lost bounties and see what we get for a new one. So fingers crossed it's slightly easier to complete than last time. What have we got? Mine 23 Wu to die. Ooh, okay, another mining one, but this time we get some guaranteed epic leggings. Well, looks like we're still going to be trying to find mine rooms, but hopefully the Wu to die will be a bit more forthcoming than the Tubium was, and it won't take us quite this long again. But I guess we'll see. And of course, there's really only one way we're going to see if that Wu to die is going to be forthcoming, and that's by making another crystal. And of course, we are still on the hunt for our scavenger hunt completion, so hopefully this time will be the charm. Ooh, come on. Let's see what we need. Three spider webbing spools, okay. Eight red scrolls, six skeleton bone shards, and four sacks. Okay, I mean, it's asking for less things than last time, which is something, and... At least it's three spider webbing spools, which is probably the easiest out of all of the Omega items, but yeah, we'll see. This is once again going to definitely be a challenge, but there's always a chance and I'm always here to give it a shot. So let's just see how this goes. And we do have a very nice dripstone cavey theme, which is very pretty. I do very much enjoy it. And we do actually at least want something from the wooden chest this time, which is always very nice whenever we want that. Um, ooh, there's something down here. Oh, hello. Oh, a bunch of wooden chests. That is actually perfect. Thank you very much. And that's one spider webbing spool. Two spider webbing spools. Three, three, did this? This one POI got all three of our spider webbing spools. Okay, well, maybe we're gonna have better luck with this scav than I thought, or we've just used all of our luck for the entire run. It could be either at this point, lord knows, but that was incredibly lucky. Three spider webbing spools in one POI, I mean, one earth? Well, let's just keep this thing going. We could just be... Huh! And now everything we might hopefully need for eight red scrolls. Okay, I guess the bolt gods are currently being incredibly kind to us. Now we just need to don't accidentally set off the TNT and destroy all of the chests, because that would be real, real unfortunate. Darn it. Run. Hopefully it doesn't destroy everything. Okay. You know, that was mildly contained. I will take that. Oh, that one. Not so good. If 
I really need to stop accidentally mining the TNT. It's very inconvenient. How are we actually doing? We have seven. Oh god, if we could just get one more. Just one more red scroll. And we can actually leave this with it being done. It should be insanely good. So that's a spider soul charm. Do you have... Nope. Not there. But up here. Yes, that's a red scroll. We actually have all eight. Okay, let's get going because this room is completely destroyed and we have other stuff we want to find, but we are doing ridiculously well. Okay. Oh, that is a window altar and some light chests. The question is, it's Wendar, so it fits our charm, but it's also... That's none of the things I needed. It's also got 20 minutes left, and so potentially going to completely destroy our vault. I'm not going to do it, I don't think. I still need to work out exactly the best way of doing this, but right now we're actually doing pretty well on this vault so i don't really want to risk it and is this an ore room hi would you mind having some skeleton bone shards i wish that i would also be real good but skeleton bone shards would be amazing hi there champion how you doing nice of you to join um thank you for the epic wand You know you want to do it. You know you want to give me some skeleton bone shards. Yes, you do. Perfect. Okay, how are we doing? So obviously we know we've got all three spider webbing spools. We've got nine red scrolls. We have all of the bone shards. Now we just need four sacks. Okay. Well, hopefully... If we could find maybe, I don't know, if we could find an ornate dungeon, that would be amazing. Or just a bunch of ornate chests. Hi ornate chests. Do you want to have some sacks for me? That would be real nice of you. No, that's an empty jar. But that's a sack. Okay, we have one. That is better than we were five seconds ago. That's another possibility. <laughs> okay, we finally complete one and get to use another, and we end up with another lost bounty from a champion in the next vault. Ooh, that's some good luck. Good to know we're not going to be running out of them anytime soon, because I do so love them. But, uh, yeah, didn't expect that. That is not the right way to go down. I guess I'm doing it anyway. Didn't I say that this ball was supposed to stop me from accidentally jumping in the holes? But I don't mean to, because it's my specialty. Apparently I still find a way. So, good to know that that hasn't fundamentally changed. Hey, ooh, that's one sec. Wonderful. By chance, would you like to give me some more? Nope. And that's a wizard one. That's one sack. Perfect. What are you? Challenging guild. Ah, nope. Not what I'm looking for. I'll loot these initial chests, but that's fun. Actually, for that, I can probably loot this whole thing because it doesn't really go much further. Ah, it's actually a waste of time. I should definitely not be doing this, but at the same time. And you just gave me some Omega Leggings, so maybe it was actually worth it. Yes, come on. Yes, I think that's everything. Ooh, please tell me that was everything. I need to check my bag. Hi, um, well what? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh boy, I hope that doesn't actually use a charge if you never complete. Okay, we have all of the spider webbing spools, we have double the amount of red scrolls we need, all of the skeleton bone shards, and all of the sacks. We just need to find a hand in. Let's go do it. Ooh. 
We did it. That was quite the adventure, but we did it. Oh man. 116 coin piles, 66 ores, and 179 chests, and 534 mobs. Oh boy, that was so good! I almost can't believe that we actually finally completed that scav, but we did and I am so happy. And not only did we complete the vault, but we also got a ton of loot from it, including 12 rooted eye towards our bounty, another lost bounty, an X mark inscription, 15 gear pieces including the Omega leggings from that dungeon, and 49 jewels. Plus, of course, we finally completed our bounty, and we completed the vault, so we get to open both of these. And as for our jewels, I think we'll be keeping this entire top row, which is pretty impressive. So we have this size 15 with a bunch of great modifiers, and I think I'll probably keep it for the copiously durability and mining speed combo, because that is very nice. This size 19 almost max roll on copiously, which is fantastic. This size 12 almost max roll on trap disarm, which is lovely. This size 22 mining speed, hammer size and vanilla immortality, which should hopefully come in handy. This size 25, which I'm definitely keeping for the copiously durability and reach combination, which is brilliant. This size 13 with a very nice copiously and a little bit of mining speed, which is absolutely lovely. This size 17, trap disarm and mining speed, which is very nice. This size 11, hammer size, which is beautiful. This size 17, which once again I'll be keeping for the copiously reach and potentially picking combination, so that is wonderful. This size 13, pretty high reach roll, which I think is worth keeping hold of. And finally, this size 12, almost max roll on vanilla immortality which is very nice. And as for this gear? Ooh, bone dragon leggings. I mean, they sound epic. Or I guess I should say they sound pretty omega, and we will take a look at them in a second. But first we managed to get two legendary modifiers this time round. So we have this plus 11 armor, which is very high, but unfortunately on a common, so I don't think that's worth keeping. And then we have this plus 25% increased area of effect, which is on an epic wand, so I think I might keep hold of it, but I also don't know that we have that many things that have an area of effect, but we'll keep hold of that either way. Then we managed to get this epic chest plate, which I believe is better than at least one of my backups, so I'm going to keep hold of that. And then we have our Omega Leggings, which, as always, have an awful lot of potential, and we are definitely going to keep hold of them. And I think we should have time for one more vault today. So, let's get ourselves a crystal. Then we can take our Vault Essence Bounty, and for the first time in quite a while, let's just see what objective the Vault Gods give us. It's a... scam. <laughs> Of course it's a scab. Okay. Ooh, but we do have plus a hundred percent vault experience. Ooh, okay. Well, if we could complete this, we would get an awful lot of vault experience and that would be lovely, but it's asking for even just the 16 purple mob essence might be a bit tricky. And two goblets. Oh boy. Well, I guess let's just sort of play the vault, loot, see how it goes and then if we get close to completing this then we can think about it but man i just really want to play this vault so let's see how this goes i can't believe we got another scav i mean actually i can believe it is the exact sort of thing that the vault gods would do to us but still that's an awful lot of wooden chests it's a shame i don't need anything from wooden chests for this scav but i'm just gonna loot them anyway because I do really want a wooden chest scroll for the bounty, so actually I think we need we need two of them. So if we could do that, that would be amazing. Oh, oh, that was the vault essence. Okay, I was gonna say there is no way that we just did that that quickly. That would have been insane. 
But yes, the vault essence is done, which is brilliant. Hello? Would you like to give us a goblet? Sounds like something you wouldn't want to do, but maybe you do. Oh, you do! I underestimated you. I am so sorry. Oh, I could see what this is. It's a good chance of destroying our vault, but let's try it. Loot 24 gilded chests. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. We do need gilded chests anyway, so hopefully we might have a shot at doing that. Ooh! And that is our goblet. So while we still want to loot them, we actually have two goblets. Hello. Difficulty normal and coins. Well, we need the blood vials, so let's do this. Hello. Oh, and there's a table as well. Perfect. Definitely worth it. this place. Thank you for the epic leggings. You, uh, you guys are liking your really high level leggings today, huh? Fair enough. Not gonna argue. What do you have? Slowness cloud when hit, dungeon damage or healing efficiency. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Let's go for dungeon damage. We are in a dungeon and that feels very fitting. Two, one. That is, healing is very inefficient. Okay, so well, that's not ideal, but at the same time, oh, it's very inefficient. Okay, we're going to have to be very careful with this, but it could be worse. That is not an immediate, immediate death sentence, just a very likely one. We have all of the blood vials, we need five more purple mob essence, we have all of the empty jars, and we have the goblets. So do we just need purple mob essence? We just need purple mob essence. Okay, let us try and find some dweller mobs. Do not take the damage. The taking the damage is bad, but we can't heal from it. That sounded like a champion. It did sound like a champion. Okay, um, hello. I would really like you to not hit me, actually, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thank you for the vault boots. That's very nice. God, there is, like, basically no healing, but there is still some. We need two more purple mob essence in eight minutes. Okay, that sounds doable. We just have to be careful. Which is my middle name. Okay, it's really not my middle name. I am so not careful the vast majority of the time. But I can try and probably fail. Hello there, champion. It's good to see you. It's so nice that you keep spawning now I can't heal. It's so kind. So lovely and nice. Hello. Oh, another champion. And some guys with bows. How wonderful. Thank you. Okay, let's find a way out of here. Oh boy. And we have like no mana. And that's considering the fact that I have still got the crystal ball on, which gives me double the amount of mana I normally have. Oh, that is a bunch of guys. Hi. Purple mob essence? Purple mob essence? Any of you? None of you. Not a single one of you gave me purple mob essence. That is just uncool for and cruel. Just saying. What about you? Nope. One. Okay. There's a couple more of you guys. Come on, just give me one. Please. Yes! 16. We've got it. We have everything we need to get out of here. That is perfect. Okay, now we just need to not die. Um, which normally isn't a huge thing to ask, but it's a little bit more difficult right now with the lack of healing efficiency. But I have faith. I have... Well, I have some faith. You know, we've made it through weirder and stranger circumstances than this. Is there seriously a door back here? There really is. Christ. And it is a loaded one. 
Oh boy. Um. Oh, we just got some Omega leggings, but that is also not that expensive. Let's just do it. Especially because it was a hidden door. May as well make the most of it. Perfect. Okay. We shall give it some blood vials. Then we shall give it some purple more peasants. And then the empty jars. And then we will keep the goblets on our hotbar. And we shall loot. And then if we get into trouble all the time it runs out, we can just run and put that in. Oh! And we completed our wooden chest scroll bounty as well. Well, that's a fantastic feeling. Well, we got super unlucky with our god altars today. But we did get actually pretty lucky with our bounties. We should head up and put this in, actually. Thank god for the frog making this nice and quick. And there we go. Vault completed. Ooh, that's two scabs we've managed to complete today. That is... Pretty awesome. Hi, I just want all these fours. Thank you. Don't mind me. Oh boy! And I believe we have leveled up because I forgot we had the experience multiplier. We got almost 200,000 experience. Oh boy! 296 coins, 36 ores, 236 chests, and 654 mobs. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that healing loss, I don't think we've ever actually had that inside the vault because that was unexpectedly very severe, but the extra vault experience was amazing. Oh, what a vault to leave the episode on. A completion, two bounties completed, a third bounty almost complete, and a ton of awesome loot, including almost 2,000 bronze, for mystery eggs, a charm, 40 gear pieces, including the Omega leggings that we bought, and 18 jewels. Plus, as I mentioned, we completed two of our bounties, and we completed the vault. So we also get all of this lovely, lovely loot. Ooh, and it looks like we got augment, which is lovely. And as for our jewels, we actually got quite unlucky this time and didn't really get anything which I think is worth keeping hold of. But honestly, we have been doing so well for jewels in the last few vaults that it's probably about right that this happened. And as for all of this gear... Ooh, two new transmogs, including some boots. And I think we'll be keeping all of these at the top. We actually got very lucky this time round. But as usual, I just wanted to quickly show you which legendaries we got. And once again, we somehow managed to get two. I feel like we've got two legendaries like every single time today. But we managed to get this legendary plus 14 health and another legendary 20% resistance. But unfortunately, it's on a scrappy and a common. So both of those are not quite going to cut it. But then we got all of these. So we have this 18% Idona Affinity Charm with 19 uses, which is very nice. Then we got these four pieces of epic gear, which I think are better than at least some of my backups, so I'm going to keep hold of them. And then we got our two pieces of Omega gear, which are also new transmogs. So first we have these leggings that we bought from the shop, and we are definitely keeping hold of these. They're definitely not in the perfect position as they are right now. There's a lot of work that would need to be done, but they are still definitely worth keeping hold of. And then we have these boots, which once again will probably need a lot of work, although I am interested in having the resistance and health as prefixes, but the implicits and suffixes are definitely not quite where I'd want them, but they are both very nice and 100% worth keeping hold of. And you know what, just before we finish off, we have still got a frankly ridiculous amount of soul shards. I mean, we have almost 63,000, so let's just do another set of black market gambling, because the last few times we haven't done amazing, so let's just see if we can get a little bit luckier. First ones first, give us something good. A phoenix feather. Okay, that's interesting. It's definitely got a good soul value, and is worth it 
who he just don't ever really get round to using them, but still definitely worth 1,500 soul shards. Off to a good start, what about the next one? A mod box, okay, not great. Ooh, an orb of regret, that's pretty bad, okay. A gilded catalyst, okay, could be worse. Lucky number five, what have we got? Ooh, okay, a common plus magnet, could potentially be pretty good. A moat of purity, mm, not great. A not brilliant jewel, because unfortunately none of those things really work together, so that's probably going to get scrapped. Okay, scrappy shield has some potential. A waning focus, I mean, possibly not worth 1,500, but definitely useful because we always need them. And lucky number 10, a bounty pearl. We can't leave it on a bounty pearl, let's do five more, we'll call it 15 this time. A repair core, okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Ooh, okay, common plus leggings, not bad. An epic plus chest plate, okay, this last five was definitely a good idea. That could be very good. An epic plus wand, okay, and lucky number 15? A mystery egg, okay. Well, these could potentially be pretty good. Let's take a look at this gear though. Come on, give us something good. Ooh, well, a new transmog is always good. So we got a scrappy shield, which is not worth keeping. A common magnet, no. Common leggings, no thank you. Ooh, we got an omega wand. Okay, we're definitely keeping hold of that. That is very nice. And that is our new transmog for an epic chest plate. And it's not set up brilliantly as it is, but I think it should be better than at least some of our backups. You know what? That was actually not a bad set of black market pools. We have definitely had worse ones, so I will very, very gladly take that. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave this episode here. And overall, I think that was a pretty successful day. We completed a bunch of bounties, including finally completing our legendary Tubian bounty, completed some vaults, and got a ton of loot, so I am incredibly happy with that. Plus, our new sword is definitely doing its job, because I'm pretty sure we were clearing mobs faster than we ever have before, which is fantastic. Hopefully next time we'll mine the last few wooted eye that we need for our legendary bounty. But until then, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!